dude, how are you so stuck up on such a girl? We're supposed to be friends, you know? But all you do is just talk about her. Just stop already. She's not just some girl, okay? Her name is Rose. And this isn't some high school crush. I really love her. She's really kind and sweet. Bro, that's what all high school boys say. There's literally nothing special about her. And even if you get together, it's gonna last a couple of weeks or something. Hey, if you're just gonna talk bad about her, I can just invite you to leave. The door's right there. Whatever, dude. I'm just gonna leave anyway. Come talk to me when you're back to home. Since Steve left and Kevin was left sad, alone, and confused, he spent the whole night strategical on how to be with Rose. His first idea was to text her about his feelings. I have to text her. Oh my god, what am I doing? A smiling emoji? Come on, Kevin. Oh no, she came online. What am I gonna do? Why did you delete the message? Uh -huh. Oh no, what do I say? After sending a risky text and freaking out, Kevin gets up and contemplates whether it was the right move. After remembering his fight with Steve, Kevin decided that the right thing to do is to call Steve. Whatever. Rose, where are you? Where are you? What is this? What are you guys doing? Sorry, buddy. Instead of being hung up on there, I actually got it. Oh, you're so sweet. Sorry, Kevin. I can't see it all. 
How dare you? You were supposed to be my friend. Bro, our friendship went out of the window when you got hung up on Rose, ignoring me and disrespecting me. How could you even say that to me? And if it ruined our friendship over Rose, then how dare you guys even hang out together? No matter what, that is the number one rule. Look, I like her, okay? It doesn't matter if you're in the equation or not. So what? Uh, you guys are like dating? Yep. You should just give up on her. Hope you learned your lesson. Listen, you can't be talking to me like that, alright? Or what? Huh? Or what, Kevin? Or I'll show you what it feels like to be punched in your face. Oh, so you're threatening me to fight? Bro, I can do that all day. Let's do it right now. Alright, right now. You, me, my house. Right now. I'm on my way. Be ready. Remember, you're the one who wanted this. Shut up. Let's do this. <laughs> nice try. Neither are you. Why would you do this, Steve? We were best friends, and you ruined it. Just leave. Just go. Don't come back. I know you told me not to come back, but I have to tell you something. Can I come in? Sure. The reason I wanted to come here to talk to you is because everything you just saw is all fake. Wait, what? What are you saying? This all goes back to the time me and you argued. I realized how in love you were with this girl, and I understand that, but you went too far with it. So I had to do something. So I did. I messaged her that night, and she completely agreed to it. What's crazy is that she actually likes you. Wow, Steve. I can't believe you actually did that for me. Thanks. Bro, don't worry. It's not. Go outside. I have a present for you. Okay. So when Steve came up with his idea, I had to accept it. You wanna take a walk outside? Yeah, of course. Give me some more.